<laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome back. It's dinner time on the New York Nerd wait, Show. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, bitter ritz. Uh, so yes, bitter ritz. All that Pat Gizmo. He's sniffing our. It meal smells good. Here. Good. But it could be the salsa that's a part of this meal. Okay, it was on the picture. Yeah, it was. Liar. So anyway, he forgot the salsa, and he's like, "It wasn't even on the picture." Apparently, uh, this doesn't exist on the picture. So tonight we made honey mustard baked chicken with. Smoky smashed potatoes from Blue Apron, pretty by the good. way. Yep, Blue Apron. So I'd say pretty on par with the picture. Good job. I just think the plate's the wrong color. Yes, we do have blue plates actually. That uh, we could use. Oh wait, wait, wait! Look at that. There you go. Bitter Ritz's looks better, apparently. <laughs> it's right, like just like the picture. Yeah. So um, for the m I helped prep this time, which I don't usually do. Yeah, I think it was a combination so we, of uh, prep and also like directions as far as like the kind yeah, of but I didn't like. I mean, I'm just saying he still did the cooking. You can put your plate down for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm just you know. So this one was a little longer, forty to fifty minutes. Mm -hmm. The potatoes took for freaking ever. Oh, they did. Like the, but the I feel water like one time that took happened forever. to us, and we had the top on it, so I don't know what yeah. the deal was with that. But after we um, added them, you didn't put the top on. It still took a long time, but right. anyway. But uh, you made it work. So I thought it was interesting that this. Particular recipe has collard barcode. greens or kale. Uh, hold on. Collard greens or kale, but they yep. sent the collard greens. But I guess at least we know if we were to make this again, um, if we like it, that you can use kale. Mm -hmm. So what have you never used before? So shallots we've used. Yep, not but, not like this. Right, exactly. There's like one particular recipe that you do with the shallots. It's like almost like a candied shallot. I yeah, basically it. caramelize them. Caramelize, thank you. Yep. Candy. So yeah, those are really good. But this is the first time I would say um, that shallots, I feel like not too many people, maybe I'm wrong, but before I got them on sale for like half off, we had right. never really used them before and we only use them in that way. So Well, we use these more like a sliced onion this time. Like we actually like mm -hmm. made little rings out of them and very, very thinly sliced. Right. That we've never cooked with uh, relish. So this was sweet, sweet pickle relish. So we made it into kind of like a sauce with the... Um, this roasted, the red peppers, roasted red peppers, which yeah. we've never done. I mean, the most we've done with relish is right sticking on a burger or hot dog. Right. I mean, this was just mixing it. You didn't really. We didn't. Yeah, but we never had it with chicken. That's my point. Right. As far as that goes, yes. yes. I get so you. I wouldn't think to eat it with chicken. So hopefully, if I like it, now that's something. Yeah. You know, I actually don't usually like pickles, but I do like relish. So I I usually I like sweet. Pickles, exactly. I guess. Exactly. But I've never eaten a pickle that I liked other than. Relish, and I've definitely never had it with the roasted red peppers. So just that combination, I think, would be good. It smells good. Yes, we've never used panko before, panko breadcrumbs, or you we, did one before in an actual recipe, right? Yeah, but yeah. not like so, but only with blue apron, which I do have a box of it, but I want to use it at some point. Well, and I was in this particular time, like I was actually being as I usually should be, but I was being like very deliberate with uh, making sure like the sauce and the panko like didn't like go all over the place, you know, because. When I put stuff on a pan, or not on a pan, on a baking sheet, so mm -hmm. I have a lot of it sometimes, so I actually kind of like, I'm liberal with it, but I was trying to kind of keep it on the contained. chicken a little bit. Yeah, contained, exactly. Yep, and then we have a smoky spice blend, which is made of smoke, smoked paprika, sweet paprika, ground yellow mustard, garlic powder, and onion powder. So the smoky spice blend that they have, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's going to taste like it, but it awfully much looks and smells like if you guys ever buy the TGI Fridays uh, baked potato chips, it is like, it's exactly like that. So I'm curious if that's what the, you know, the, we the, shall see. the spice, the seasoning is. I have never eaten them, but you are a big fan. I am. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> a dollar. I wonder if they sell them anyplace else. <laughs> they probably do, realistically. Right. I like we both said realistically for some reason. Um, and then... For the wines, they suggest a crisp and minerally wine. I've never heard the word mineral, minerally used for wine before. So well, I find well Bitter Ritz will be drinking um, a mineral-infused tap water. Mm -hmm. And I will be filtered using... Filtered tap water. Filtered, yes. Uh, I'll be drinking orange juice. Okay, so that's... Keep thumbs up. You I noticed that there is a barcode, you said. And yeah. And you've never seen the barcode before. That's for Weight Watchers. That's interesting. So this means... I wonder if this is newer... Or whatever this recipe. Right. So, all right. So we're about to start the honey mustard baked chicken and see how it tastes with our smoke, smoky smashed potatoes, which we've never really. So on another recipe, it was just basically normal potatoes. So this is the yeah. first time we're putting like a real ingredients in it. Yeah, like a, a a spice blend or whatever they're called, but like a seasoning is the word that I meant to say. Yep. Seasoning into it. Now, was it? You feel that forty to fifty minutes was accurate for how long it took? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I would say again, the the potatoes were just an oddball thing. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I think it's I think it's pretty accurate, quite honestly. And it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, hey chef, some Weight Watcher pro tips: skip adding salt during the prep and cooking to lower your sodium. That could be that's so funny. Oh, I do want to alert everybody that if you're making this recipe, it's a good likeliness that you will have a severe injury. Mm. Yes. I almost cut my finger completely off. No, but you did cut it in. Uh, yeah, when I was you, doing the kale. When he he has a uh, actual condition where once he starts starts bleeding, it doesn't really stop bleeding. So that was fun. He got he went through <laughs> two two band aids so far. Third one now. Oh great, great. yes. So but it's pretty much finally coagulating. Yeah. Um. All right, and then one other suggestion is if you're counting smart points to choose nonstick cooking spray, which is zero smart. Points over olive oil, which is one smart point per teaspoon. I Interesting. Would be, I would never be able to do any of that kind of thing. Can oh no! I mean, like I had a coworker that was doing the um, the keto diet, mm. and it was like everything that she was having to cut out. And I'm like, that's what I just had for breakfast. You know, right. like it just wasn't going to work. All right, so let's try it. So we've got collard greens with shallots, right? So I'm going to start with the mashed potatoes only because oh, they're all right. over my fork. So there's the smashed potatoes with the smoky blend. Uh, Spice blend. Is it good? Am I going to like it? You don't look very happy. No, I like it. And I'm not going to lie. This is the exact same seasoning they put Ew. on those potato chips. This is like so... Mm -mm. Maybe it just needs milk to me. It's so like... I don't even know the words to use. It kind of reminds me of a big potato. Um... It's like I'm eating a mashed baked potato, but there's not enough. Not creamy? Yeah, there's not enough cream. It's like too dry. It's too dry for me. It is dry. But it would be better if I had, if we added a little more like milk to it or butter. But Ritz, I wish I had more of those chips. Yeah. I'm telling you, uh, next I time. I'm going to go pick some up for you tomorrow. I'm going to ask you to, to try one next time because, again, this is so much. It is. It's, it's, it's too the seasoning. Thick for me. Mm -mm. We should throw some. Sour cream on this, maybe it'd be more edible. Okay. All right. Now, um, but I'm going to try the collard greens. Like okay. you had me before, usually you do bacon with them. I mean, I say usually, you've only made it once before, but I keep picking it from my mom's garden and then we keep not making it in time before it goes bad. That's interesting. It is interesting. I don't particularly like it. Yeah, I would say the same thing. <laughs> you know, what, what I don't understand is like, so. We'll try the chicken. I mean, it's also cold, so we'll try the chicken. Obviously, it's the main event, but like, I don't hate the apple vinegar. Uh, apple. What is it called? Yeah, it's apple cider vinegar. Apple cider. I couldn't remember. This yeah, it's not bad. It's but just, how do they think it goes with these potatoes? I think maybe it needs a little more salt and pepper. Is maybe what my issue is with the potatoes. Mm -mm. The um. Collard greens. Um, oh. We didn't bring knives with us. How am I supposed to eat this chicken? Well, let's see. I'm just going to shove it all in my mouth. <laughs> you get, oh, okay. Side of the fork. Uh, this is dangerous. All right. So I... I'm going to need a knife. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. This is going to go flying. Go ahead. You can try. Oh, It'll be put, 3D. Put, did you put relish on it? I did. Gizmo's going to get a bite of my food. because I'm. Gonna... All right. So I'm going to try this. Put a little bit of that relish on there. Mm-hmm. Mm. No? Is it cooked all the way? No, it's cooked all oh, the way. Oh, good. That was my main concern. We should have checked it with the thermometer thing. I don't like it with the relish. No, I agree. The relish is... Why? Okay. I don't mind the relish, but I feel like... So I can taste the spicy... Um, the honey mustard? The honey mustard. It's a little spicy for me. But because it's Dijon mustard with honey. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating what should be a hot dog. <laughs> like, it has some mustard. I can taste the relish yeah. on top. And the panko is like the bread. And instead, I'm like looking for it to taste like hot dog. And, it's, yeah. and it doesn't. What I understand is, yeah, they, it doesn't taste bad. But okay. why would you put panko to get a crunch on mm -hmm. your chicken only to then cover it? With sloppy relish. Mm, I don't know. 
You know what I mean? It just, it's very odd. Yeah. So, so far, uh, not a fan of any of these things. I yeah. feel like they could be better. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't mind it as much as, again, I would have to add some um, butter or more sour cream to the potatoes. They're like way too dry for me. It's literally like eating mouthfuls of baked potato, which is very dry, <laughs> um, with this like powdery substance in it. Because that's a spicy seasoning. Oh, and, yeah. It was very thick seasoning. And yeah. then the collard greens, I'm, I'm just not a fan of. It's like, need something more to it. Maybe if you added bacon into this, that would be yummy. Yeah. I, 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 bacon, salt, and pepper. Well, no, we won't need more salt because bacon's very salty. But I could see adding ba bacon. I feel like bacon makes everything better. But that's usually how you make collard greens. And I like yeah. those. So I can see bacon with the shallots and the collard greens. I would try that. And then the chicken, I feel like... I don't hate that there's panko. I do not like it with the grill. I took another bite. Really, I'm just like, wow, this is like so much like a hot dog. But it's not a hot dog. I mean, thankfully... I can't wrap uh, my brain around it. Thankfully, the other two pieces, we didn't put any of those uh, relish on it or anything. Yeah, Yeah. well, I already scooped off the relish off mine. I just figured I'd try one more time. Yeah. I feel like this chicken would be fine maybe with uh, maybe more honey mustard sauce on the side that you can mm -hmm. like dip into. Or like a creamy honey mustard. Right. Then I would be a fan. But like... I'm very particular about my food. Like, how do I word it? Mm. Okay. For example, when I eat a hot dog, I put half of it mustard and half of it ketchup. Mm -hmm. And I have to eat uh, the mustard mix. first. They don't mix. I eat the mustard first to end on the ketchup. Like, I'm very particular. So I feel like there's certain things that, like, I can't, my head can't wrap around. Like, breakfast for dinner. He loves doing that. I can't, I can't eat breakfast for dinner. It's just not, not fe glitch. feasible for me. Yes. Like, it just does not compute. Um, and I feel like that's what my problem is with this. Like, I'm eating the relish, and I just can't... Yeah. I can't understand not tasting the hot dog with it. <laughs> well, I guess somewhat similar. And I meet these... I know I've said this six times already. When I eat these mashed potatoes, I expect a crunch. Because these taste exactly like a potato chip that I like. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to show them on the on screen when I pick them up. So that was the honey mustard baked chicken with smoky smashed potatoes review. Out of five, what would you give it? A two and a half to a three. Yeah, I'll, mm, not it even was, there. I would say uh, I'm going to give it like a, maybe a two. So and this with was, my changes, with my additions, I think I'd get it to like a three and a half. But as is right now, I don't I don't even think 50%. No, not even a two and a half. Like a two. So this was worse than the bolognese we ate yesterday. To me? Um, I would say yes, only because I can see how it could easily be like that two and a half or three or even a four just by like some slight changes. The bolognese? No, this. Oh, okay. The bolognese is what it is. And I didn't, I can't say that it didn't taste, it didn't taste bad. It didn't taste good, but like, I feel like it tasted like what I expected and it just wasn't, I don't know. I've oh. had bolognese before. I feel like and it's just like, Okay. I could eat the rest of this, and I can eat it tomorrow too. No, I mean I, I don't am. mind it. But bolognese, I'm not touching it. That's just. I think we should add more ricotta to it, mm -hmm. the bolognese, and it will be more edible. Okay. These, I feel like I'm um, honestly, I can't finish. I can't eat these potatoes the way that they are. Okay. They're way too dry. I'm eating the collard greens because they're edible, but I don't really like them. And then I'm eating the chicken without the relish, but it's not really super good because it's like kind of like just so plain because i'm not eating with the relish but i just can't handle the relish with it i find it interesting too because i feel like though on a positive note sorry to cut you off i do feel like this will at least reheat well mm -hmm. so that's good and that might be one of those things that the 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 flavor in the chicken might actually get more bad, like better yeah. yeah that happened the other night with the other food because i knew how much the the, mus the mustard sauce they put on and everything else mm -hmm. i'm very surprised that I'm even eating a little piece of the chicken that doesn't have uh, the, the relish on it. Mm -hmm. There's little flavor. Yeah. like as in, Without the relish. Like, you can taste something? No, I can't taste oh, the I honey taste, mustard. I could taste the honey mustard. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. it's just blending but into you, me and I'm not you, sure. You, it wasn't on both sides, remember, right? The honey mustard yeah. you only put on one side, and then right. you put the panko crumbs. So it's just a matter of if you happen to brush it evenly across, right? So you right. probably got a piece of it. Or in the center of it, obviously, you wouldn't have that flavor. Right. But, um... Yeah, I think that I really like this idea of the relish with the, um, the chicken, the red pepper. No, oh. no, <laughs> the relish with the red peppers mixed together. But I feel yeah. like 
that to me is for a hot dog or a hamburger and I can end it at that. But I will, I will try this. Yeah. With a hot dog or hamburger. No, I agree. I think the, the relish is actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. And then, um, I don't mind the pink. I like the crunch of the pinko. I like the little bit of honey mustard, but it needs a honey mustard. Um, what did I call it? Infusion. Dressing. No, like that you can dip in dipping. Oh, okay. So yep. yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's like, I can see how this could be like so much better for what I want. I would not, I, I don't like these. It's funny that you're like, oh, they like your favorite chips. I don't like those. Not my favorite chips. Okay. Chips you really like. Yeah. I, I don't want to eat it for dinner. I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> I don't think I would remake these potatoes. I like, you know, I just oh, like I, wouldn't eat I love mashed potatoes and these are like not, not hitting the spot for me. I eat those chips like maybe three times a year. Okay. But, but every like, time you, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, is every three times a year. Well, considering it's 2020, yeah. probably twice a year. Mm-hmm. No, I go down with you a lot. I'm teasing you. No, I know. Well, when we used to go together, you would pick them up. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. All right. I mean, it was, you know, whatever. So, uh, there's a lot of leftovers, I would say, right? There's two more pieces of chicken. Quality there's of price is of, fine. Yeah, the amount of, of food potatoes. is fine. A lot of... Co the collard greens, you had to, like, do a pocket, it was called. Yeah. And, uh, it was, like, get one baking sheet, put the chicken on half the baking sheet, and put a pocket that's sealed up, like, um, on both sides of tinfoil with the collard greens. Right. I don't know how big these people's baking sheets are. I I had to use two different baking sheets because four pieces of chicken is a lot. Mm -hmm. And then these collard greens, once you chop them up, they were the size of a whole baking sheet. I'm like, how can they expect me to fit this all in one? I mean, maybe people have a whole baking sheet, like the width of your oven, but I don't think we do. No, it's big, yeah. But, in the but as soon as you cook them, though, they do shrivel down pretty quickly. No, I know, but to like put them in, it was like, yeah, it's just how could they expect you to fit this? All in one baking sheet. It was just very odd, but anyway. So yeah, I would say um, I don't know. Any other thoughts on this? No, like I said, I think it's um, you might like it. Make the adjustments, like we said. Like get get those mashed potatoes more creamy for sure. Those are not. And just cut the seasoning. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the seasoning. I didn't see that. Like I said, it very much reminds you of those, but but apparently that's not a good thing. Not really. It made me excited at first, but I'm like. It reminds me, I cooked with Doritos once. I'm like, I love Doritos. So but you don't I want them for dinner? I crumbled them in. Uh, something I was making. Um, I don't remember what it was. But I don't know. Basically, I started trying to cook with them, and it was disgusting because they started <laughs> to melt and congeal because there's so much fat in them. I, I'm feeling this all over again. I'm like, oh, it smells and looks good in practice, but not really. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us on our Blue Apron yes. review. We'll so, be eating again, so uh, maybe even earlier so tomorrow. So this is second of the three uh, meals. The third one, I don't remember what it was, but it was a steak that you thought sounded good, I think. Oh. So, yeah, okay. maybe we'll make that. Um, yeah, because the shrimp one we did the other day was really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we'll have to make that. What's today? Sunday? Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. We'll right. see. But anyway, thanks for joining us. And as always, um, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Don't thumbs down, but you know, any of those things. Um, and we are going to start do, uh, giving away uh, free Blue Apron meals as well. So we're going to be talking to you guys a little bit more how we can do that. Yes. I got to get that done uh, hopefully tonight. Yep. I can put up something about that. So again, uh, we'll also check out check us out on Tuesday for um, our Royal Rumble for Riches, our, our wrestling show at 8 o'clock. And tomorrow, at some point, we'll be opening up another present as we march towards my birthday. So mm -hmm. keep nine or ten, yes, mm -hmm. day nine countdown. Really mm -hmm. count up. We keep on and count down, but it's really counting up. Yeah, it depends. It how helps you me it. remember the math better. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful night, and yeah. we will see you later. Adios. Good night. <laughs>